Hello, Trooper parents. This is Mr. Mota, one of the APs from Eastwood High School. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to give you all a quick presentation to let you know of some important updates and things that we're implementing for this school year. So this is our administration for the 24-25 school year. Feel free to take a, a pause here in the video so that way you get to see who your student's administrator is. We also have our wonderful counseling team. And again, we are um, broken up by alpha. So again, feel free to pause the video here if you wanna know who your child's uh, counselor is. And then of course we do have some other people on campus that may be uh, an amazing resource for you, which is our CIS, our Go Center specialist, and of course our campus nurses. So something you may hear for the whole year is um, what we're going to reiterate to students, faculty, and staff, and to our community is that we are the home of El Paso's finest. And so we want to stress that to everybody, especially when we're having those difficult conversations or when we have your child in our office, you know, we want to let them know, you know, they are part of a, a legacy and, and big tradition here at Eastwood High School, but, you know, that they, they got to remember that they are um, El Paso's finest and that they reside and, and they come to the school um, of the home of El Paso's finest. Um, take a pause here in the video if you would like more information about GT. We do have an English information guide and a Spanish information guide. Um, this next slide is just to remind you all that all students must have their ID on at all time. Um, they must be wearing their ID because it is about safety because, again, we want to be able to identify those individuals that should not be on our campus. Um, and the only way we're going to be able to do so is if students are wearing their IDs. And again, they should be worn at all times, especially when they're coming onto our campus during lunch, during transition, if they're going to the restroom. But again, they should be wearing that ID at all times. And again, this will start the very first day of school. And so please make sure your child does have their ID on day one. Okay, one of the things that we want to roll out this year is many of you know about our Sarge's study hall that we had in the library. We are revamping that. It's now called the Academic Center. Um, the reason is we've looked and we've realized that students are not graduating, not because of EOC, which is our STAR exam, but because of credits. And so we needed to do something to get involved. Um, so the Academic Center is going to target students who have two or more zeros in core classes. And this is only going to apply to ninth and 10th graders. Uh, again, this is our first year rolling it out, so we're gonna test that out with them. Um, once we know that we are having a great success rate, then we will move on to the upper grade levels. Um, so take pause here at this video if you would wanna see what the process is going to look like. Um, but the whole idea is that students will be picked up, they will have mandatory tutoring. And then again, once they are caught up on their work, then they will be removed from the list. So again, feel free to take a pause here in the video if you wanna see the process. Okay, just a quick reminder about dress code. Again, I don't wanna to spend too much time. You all should have received our dress code in the mail. That dress code is district policy. It's not created by Eastwood High School. It's not created by us, the administration team. It's what we have to uphold as part of the district's dress code policy. Um, some of the things we just wanna remind you of and things that we've noticed you know, the last couple of years um, are the short shorts. Again, they should not be any shorter than two inches above the knee. The other thing are crop tops, again, being exposed in the front or back. And then, of course, t-shirts that advertise, you know, lewd, profane language, tobacco, sex, illegal drugs, violence, any of that. Specifically here referring to a cookie shirt. Students will be asked to change. Okay, so just kind of remind them of that. They will be asked to change if they are in violation of dress code. The other thing is, again, ID should be on at all times. This is part of their dress code. But also, again, just a reminder about safety. And then any student found out, found out of dress code will be asked to change. And so I like to refer to the traffic ticket analogy here. This picture that I have is that, look, there's only six administrators. We try our best to capture as many students as possible when it comes to them violating dress code. But understand that we are also um, a small team compared to 2,400 students. And so sometimes your child may get caught out of dress code. And sometimes your child may not. And so just kind of like a traffic ticket, you may be speeding down the same road for weeks and never get caught. And then eventually you do. And that's the same analogy we use with the students. I said, look, you may be questioning why me, but it just ended up being your chance. So the only thing, the way to avoid that is by making sure you're in dress code every single day. 
Okay, tardies, we're gonna implement something new. It's called Friday Night Lights. For any student that's caught in a tardy sweep or excessive tardiness, they will have to serve Friday Night uh, Lights detention for 4.15 to 5.15. The other thing is just to remind you about attendance, excused and unexcused absences count towards a 90% rule. So it doesn't matter if you excuse every single absence if your child is out from school, this will affect them and it will cause them to lose credit. So just kind of be mindful of that. Again, it is excused and unexcused absences. Students are only allowed to miss up to nine days a semester. Any absences beyond that, um, they may owe loss of credit. Okay, and then again, there are other rules that apply, you know, special absences and stuff like that. But again, just kind of be mindful of your students' absences in the semester. Parking. Okay, this is this is a tough one. Okay, um, when they built their school, they never considered that we are a very large school, so never built enough parking spaces for a lot of our students. So we are limited in our parking. We only have parking really for our staff and teachers. Um, but again, we don't have any extra parking passes. We are sold out, okay? So we, we sold out all the parking passes that we could offer students. Please remind your students not to park in this parking lot because again, they will be towed at the owner's expense. And again, this is very important because we will be doing parking lot checks um, every day. And so if we find a vehicle that does not have a parking pass, um, that person could be, um, person's vehicle could be towed. Um, lunch, it is open campus for all grade levels. So again, we still have food trucks available on campus. Of course, cafeteria is also available. Food deliveries are also being accepted, but just um, this is important. We are changing the process of that. There will be a flyer shared on social media with a bit more details. Um, and just to remind you, the campus is not responsible for food items not delivered or stolen. So no, this is at the risk. If you wanna have your child have food delivered, um, especially from uh, from like Uber Eats, um, DoorDash, or any so those ty types of things, and they are at risk of that their food may be um, may not get delivered or stolen. At that point, the campus is not responsible. But again, we do have other options. And again, now it is open lunch for everybody, um, and so um, just know that they have that as well as something that they can pay for lunch. Um, the next thing is that the last day for student uh, to, for a student to request a schedule change will be August 9th. That is a hard deadline. That gives students two weeks to really think about if they made the right decisions in their course selections. Um, QR codes will be posted around the campus and schedules will be available on the hack July 26, um, which is the date of this video going out. But just in case if it's not, please let us know, but they should be available on the hack and we will have physical schedules for them to pick up the first day of school. So we do have a backup plan for the first day of school just in case the hack is not working. So with that being said, please follow us on social media. We do have an Instagram account. We do have a Facebook account. And we do also have an X account, which used to be Twitter. So again, we do ask that you do follow us. We do post a lot of important information there. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to Eastwood Administration. And we'll gladly help you in, in uh, any questions that you may have. Thank you and have a wonderful evening.